You know, I originally started off um, in entertainment, managing local talent around Vegas. And I moved to um, Los Angeles uh, to go to a school called Music Musicians Institute. I met, I had a teacher who I was helping and he said, hey, you know, the Jonas Brothers are looking for interns. I eventually got the internship um, and that was just a whirlwind, you know, for the next three or four years. Um, I worked with the Jonas Brothers. Um, I started off as their assistant, eventually worked my way up to doing day-to-day -day management things. Um, they kind of just built my career from there. Yeah, Issa and I originally met um, early, maybe 2010. And at the time, you know, she was um, thinking about Awkward Black Girl. We had mutual friends and I sent her an email and I said, hey, I see what you're doing. I love what you're doing. Here's how I feel like I can help. We sat down, um, we talked about it and she said, you know, this is all great. Um, you know, I would love to have you on my team, but I don't have the budget to afford you. And mm. I was like, you know, it's okay. Um, at the time I was, you know, good financially. And I was like, you know, this is a this is a passion project for me, just as a, as a passion project for you. And so we started uh, started working together and, and I was just her right hand man in terms of business things. You know, we started as uh, with the show, just tunnel vision on Awkward Black Girl. Uh, Issa went to HBO for um, for the original idea of Insecure. So HBO was interested in it and they, you know, paired her with Larry Wilmore and then they started developing the show. And then the rest is kind of history from there. Um, eventually that blossomed into what it is now, which is, you know, we have a digital component to our company. We have a film and TV component. We have a management company. And then obviously we have radio, which is a, you know, we call it our audio everywhere company because we want to exist everywhere that audio exists you know obviously people know us for music but we're in the podcast space um we have a big music supervision team so we're doing the music from some of your favorite shows whether it be power whether it be love and hip-hop whether it be uh, the new sex in the city and just like that all of these shows in, in films we try to be as intentional as possible about the music yeah, for as far as what I'm most excited about next is, you know, I'm, I'm excited to just keep building a business. You know, I, I look at radio as a one of one company and, you know, there's companies out there that are similar to radio in terms of, you know, there's a label that may be similar. There's a music supervision that may be similar, but uh, we've never seen a company kind of tie it all together in the way that we are. So, you know, the momentum and the trajectory is, 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 that, a, is that a good place that I'm just excited about keeping it going.